800 CHAB is proud to present Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. Greg Marcinek, Heritage Insurance, downtown Moose Jaw. Greg, it's that time of year. It's hunting season and uh, something to keep in mind for everybody, not just hunters. Uh, wildlife are very, very active at this time of year. And it's that time of year when we should all pay extra attention and maybe, uh, maybe watch those speeds. Exactly. Uh, there are a lot of areas that are posted out there as well. Not only is it hunting season, but it's also riding season. So uh, deer are very active and it's something that everyone has to be aware of. So I felt it was a good idea just to talk about uh, tips on how to avoid hitting deer because it is that season. Uh, the biggest thing is you want to watch for deer, especially before and after sunrise. Uh, this is the highest deer car accident uh, time uh, during these, uh, you know, during that time of day. So take extra precaution on the uh, morning, early mornings, and late evenings. As well, drive carefully when you are in deer crossing zones. They have reasons that these signs are posted uh, because there are areas that are known to have large populations of deer or areas where uh, agriculture fields divided from tiered areas. Uh, as well, if you're driving in the evening, use your high beam headlights if there are no oncoming vehicles. And the high beam allows you to see the eyes of the deer that much quicker. Uh, again, uh, if you're coming up to where you do see deer, honk the horn when you see deer next to the roadway or highway and uh, this will help scare the deer away from the roadway. As well, blink your high beams at the deer because deer seem to be in a trance when they see your headlights, but when you're blinking your headlights at them, it seems to wake them up and the danger heading toward them. So again, that's another great tip. The biggest thing if you are coming in contact, break right away and when you see a deer in or near the high roadway or highway. Stay in your lane of traffic, uh, brake firmly. Now, if you have no ABS, anti-lock braking systems, don't lock the brakes up on your vehicle because this may cause you to lose control of the vehicle. Before the point of impact, make sure you release the brakes. That'll allow the hood of the car to raise as opposed to when you're braking to lower so it's not going to have the deer come out or the wildlife come up and over. Uh, and number one, the biggest safety tip of all is always wear your seatbelt. It is law, and uh, many people are injured or killed in deer car accidents were not wearing their seat belts. So just a basic seven point on how to avoid hitting deer. Yeah, we can uh, help save the lives of uh, deer and help to save the lives of human beings, too. That's the bottom line. That's correct, Rob. And uh, if you'd like any more information, please go to our website, nohassleinsurance.ca. It will be posted on our blog area. Or you could come down and visit us here at the corner of Fairford and First Northwest, the building with the red truck on the roof. This has been Ask the Expert on 800-CHAB.